Hello, everyone, and welcome to Heads Up, the weekly webcast and podcast of the National Headache Foundation. I'm Dr. Lindsay Weitzel, migraine strategist, founder of the Facebook group Migraine Nation, and chronic daily migraine survivor. I am excited to be here today with Dr. Tim Smith. Hi, Dr. Smith. How are you? Doing well, Dr. Weitz. Well, good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, Dr. Smith is the CEO of Study Metrics Research, and he is also the vice president of the National Headache Foundation. You are probably used to seeing him. He is a regular guest on Heads Up. Today, we're going to talk about the qualifications and certifications that our headache providers have. I know that I meet with people with migraine who have often fallen through the cracks of the medical system. Um, sometimes they've sought care and did not have a great experience. Sometimes they didn't receive the correct diagnosis or maybe didn't feel like their provider cared too much about their illness. Um, and so I find that's part of my job to sort of coax them back in and find a provider that, that fits them and understands their disease. And so we wanted to talk today about how we know, some ways we can find out if our provider's really interested in headache medicine and really has undergone um, some training in headache medicine. So Dr. Smith, um, are physicians required to undergo training headache, in headache medicine? Uh, typically, no. There are very little curriculum requirements in medical school. Certainly, for general practitioners, it's not it's not a key uh, a key item uh, for uh, for trainees. They might get it as part of a broad uh, uh, study in in the in the field of neurology, for example. Uh, but um, but no, to have a, a specific course on headaches. Right. That, that doesn't exist in, in, the, in the medical education system. I think um, some people are often very surprised to hear that. Um, and I think they're more surprised to hear about the field of neurology. Do all neurologists undergo training in headache medicine? The answer to that question is yes, they do undergo training uh, for headache medicine. But uh, some recent surveys have shown that if you, if you look at uh, neurology training uh, curricula for different training programs around the country, mm -hmm. uh, in a four-year uh, residency program, the average neurology trainee gets a total of four hours yeah. of uh, training in headache. And that's in all forms of, uh, of headache. That's migraine, cluster headache, post-traumatic headache, other problematic and disabling headache disorders, a uh, total of one hour per year on average out of a whole year of pretty intensive long hours of training. And, and a very, very small amount of it is, is dedicated to headache, even for neurologists, who are many times thought, about, thought of uh, uh, as being uh, the specialists in headache management. It's, but it's very, very shocking to, to see how little training they actually get uh, many times. Right. I always, I think it's important for people to understand that, you know, doctors are only human and they have their own interests. So I have a person in my family with Parkinson's disease and she sees a neurologist who's, who's very interested in Parkinson's disease. There's many diseases that neurologists uh, learn about and types of patients they see and they do have specific interests. And a lot of times if you had a bad experience with a neurologist or another provider, headache might not be their specific interest. And it's not your fault. And, and you shouldn't take it personally. You should just keep, keep trying. Um, so in answer to patients' requests to be able to identify practitioners, whether they be MDs, physician's assistants, or nurse practitioners, et cetera, who were trained in headache medicine, the National Headache Foundation designed a certification process. And it's called the Added Qualification in Headache Medicine. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. We, we call it AQH for short. That's a mouthful to uh, say the Added Qualification in Headache me uh, Medicine. Right. Uh, but the AQH uh, was started uh, almost uh, 20 years ago by the National Headache Foundation, and it was in a direct response to patient requests. Mm -hmm. uh, as many of your, your viewers and uh, listeners will know, the National Headache Foundation is a nonprofit organization, and it's a patient organization. It's not a scientific society made up of researchers and doctors. We do have some of those folks uh, on our board and who are professional members, but the rank and file 30,000 plus members are folks that uh, engage with us r routinely, are patients, are people who love 
someone who has a disabling headache disorder. Mm -hmm. And that group uh, years ago came to us and said, you know, we wish there was a way to identify competent clinicians, uh, a credential they could have because we, they understood that having a certificate in pain management or in neurology or some other uh, field didn't guarantee that that clinician uh, was uh, uh, really on top of the game as it pertains to headache management. So uh, we, uh, the National Headache Foundation Board of Directors and the Executive Committee uh, got together and they uh, formed this process uh, to uh, attain uh, a, a certificate uh, uh, for the AQH uh, certificate. And when it first started off, this was, uh, it basically had a, a list of uh, what we call key opinion leadership uh, activities that uh, that clinicians could uh, use to demonstrate through a point system and uh, and uh, uh, get a certificate of added qualification uh, right. the the, the uh, uh, to signify their their expertise in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in, uh, about six years ago now, the uh, foundation uh, decided to change that process. Uh, to be a an exam based uh, certificate process uh, certification process, and so now uh, clinicians, if they are, they can be in any specialty as long as the one requirement that they be actively engaged uh, in managing uh, headache in patients as a as a significant part of their practice. Uh, so they didn't want, you know, uh, uh, industry. Uh, uh, professionals or right. bench researchers or someone who's not engaged in taking care of patients. It, it needs to, to be patients, clinicians right. that are involved with patient care. And it can be nurse practitioners, it can be PAs or physician assistants, it can be dentists, okay. pain psychologists, and for physicians, it can be MDs or DOs, and it can be from any, uh, as I said, any uh, subspecialty as long as they care for headache patients in their practice. Okay, um, so how many headache specialists uh, are there in our country, do you think? Well, that's uh, the, the only way we have to measure that is uh, looking at these uh, at, uh, credentialed uh, clinicians. And uh, for the AQH process from the National Headache Foundation, we have uh, uh, over 220 uh, clinicians who have attained the certificate. And we list them on our website. It's headaches.org. People wanted mm -hmm. to go there, and they're from all over the country. And they can look at that list. And we do the test twice a year. So we will be hopefully adding uh, new uh, crops of uh, new uh, cert uh, certified uh, clinicians, uh, mm -hmm. usually in the spring and the fall. It's March and September, usually. Okay. And um, uh, so that, that's the number, uh, the, the number that have the AQH. There's another process uh, that's uh, sponsored by an organization called UCNS, and they have credentialed uh, somewhere close to 700 trainees uh, since uh, 2006 is how long they've been uh, up and active. Uh, but they, uh, they only allow uh, neurologists and neurologists to have had fellowship training in headache to sit for their exam. Mm -hmm. There are only a few programs that to provide that training and only a few trainees who come through those types of programs every year. So the number of uh, clinicians that are able to sit for that examination and get that credential are, are very few. Uh, so it's good to have multiple avenues, mm -hmm. but if you add, do the quick math, that's still less than a thousand uh, yeah. certified uh, uh, clinicians in the United States uh, right. to take care of over 30 million uh, patients. I think we're, a little outnumbered there, so we need to I work was, on that. Yes, I was just going to point out, we have a very bad headache, sh or we don't have a headache shortage, forgive me. We definitely do not have a headache shortage. We have a shortage of headache providers. Uh, we don't even have a headache shortage in my own house. Um, and, so, <laughs> and so if you know someone, if you have a provider that you work with, that works with you, who's particularly awesome, uh, send them to headaches.org, uh, see if they want to go through this certification process. Um, it can be a really awesome thing for them and for the people that they work with. Uh, it's a truly great thing. I do know for the, at the institution I go to, 
Um, there are a couple NPs who just recently did it. They were very excited. Um, so definitely uh, send some people there if you think that they're they're awesome and they would be good for this. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to add, Dr. Smith? I would just say that, you know, I think that the clinicians uh, in this country that uh, really uh, embrace uh, headache management are the ones that really care the most about it. And, and uh, since there is no, uh, uh, at least as it pertains to medical school and most residency programs, uh, there's no uh, real course to, to take to become a headache specialist. You, you, the folks that wind up doing it uh, are really highly motivated. Many of them come from migraine families or have migraine themselves or they just uh, really have a lot of empathy for people who uh, you know, uh, have one of these, uh, not just migraine, but other he disabling headache disorders. Um, and so the AQH is one pathway to get a credential uh, in that way. So if, as you said, any, any clinicians out there, if you know one who cares deeply about headache management or is good at it, but uh, uh, they, perhaps they could uh, um, go to the website, learn about, the AQH, go to headaches.org and check it out. Yes, because we need them. So thank you, Dr. Smith. And thank you everyone for joining us this week on Heads Up. And please join us again next week, either on the webcast or the podcast. Uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.